लिए यहाँ पे एक रूम बुक किया है ताकि मैं बैठ के आप लोगों से शांति से बात कर सकू है ना <laughs> मैं कौन हूँ <laughs> मैं सुमित खुरा <laughs> Hello Zine Sweeper welcome back to Mansoor this is your boy Sumrit Today's video is about the Konkan College 2023 So this video will be helpful for all the students coming in 2023 because the last video I made was back in 2021 and a lot of things has changed since then there were many buildings in construction that time which have been completed so I'll show you that building and we'll talk about everything including the campus I'll show you the, around the campus I'll talk about jobs like in college jobs and outside jobs and difference between them then we'll talk about residence like where to live within campus and outside in a private residence for a better cost depending upon your choice thirdly we'll talk about transportation how to get around to the college and how to get to your job back from your job or anywhere else you want to go down on anything else right now i'm sitting in algonquin college ca building which is near baseline station which is a part of transportation so we'll talk about that soon in today's video i'll i wanted to meet a guest which is my great help she has been helping me since i've been here my classmate and we both are together back in gongkin college after so long after graduation so beginning this video i want to show you my graduation in gongkin college and here it is now you have watched the video of my graduation my convocation of our college and you must be wondering how do i survive in the mountain college and how do i reach this stage in life so don't worry in this video you'll learn everything from jobs uh, accommodation grades as well as transportation so this video basically will help you to be the best student or this video is basically a survival guide in algonquin college and in ottawa so let's start the video without any delay hey guys so we are at ca building which is next to baseline station um the main advantage of this building is that it is very very near to baseline station and this is a passage through which if you look right there there's a ramp and using that ramp you can go to other buildings as well and if you look right here there are many shops and everything which are closed right now but it's a uh, night time but there are there are a lot of food shops and if you look behind yourself there are different rooms where you can actually sit and study with your friends so now we'll go to other buildings and i'll show you what's there let's go actually go to building b which is right here so follow me and let's go to building b and if you look there it looks so beautiful in all seasons be it winter summer fall it looks so good So let's go to building B. So guys, this is the passage way. We are right now in building B, but this is the passage way to building C as well as building A. Building A is downstairs and then building C is of library and I'll show you a brief about building B. Let's yeah. go. So these are the small rooms in building B where you can actually sit with your friends and study. If you look down there, uh, that seating area as well as there are a lot of options to eat here. and enjoy and take a break from the classes uh as you can see school of health and community studies but this is actually a library where you can actually have three floors 
where you can study at different places, even in small rooms, and you can study in seclusion or in privacy if you want. Right here, in the beginning of Building C, we have Cooperative Education, which is a co-op department. If you score greater GPA, like let's say 2.7 out of 4, then they actually help you find good jobs and internships if your course has co-op available. So that's the department right here. Yeah. This is the second floor of library. There are three floors. One is downstairs. The other one is upstairs, which is really beautiful. So I've already showed you the second floor and let's go to floor upstairs, which in which you can find different books, computers or laptops if you want to rent. And you can actually see the beauty of the third floor. This is building C third floor. Right here is a beautiful library, which we'll show you in a second, like all the places you can rent the books or laptops from and private spaces to study. If you look behind you, there's also extra study room right there. And she's drinking water right here. If you can focus on her. <laughs> so let's go to the building C and I'll show you the beautiful part of library. Let's go. So guys, this is the International Education Center, uh, IEC, Student Central, where you can actually, if you need any help with your work permit, your study permit, any immigration thing or anything you require from college or anything you're facing problems like ID problems, just go there. They'll actually give you a ticket and you have to wait till your turn and then they actually help you with their right agents. So which is really helpful. So guys, what I've shown you now, these are all the old people who have kept them here. They have seen the flower that they have kept. They have also kept them. They have made them on the college. This is actually a glass. Queen Elizabeth ने इधर आके दारू पी थी। तो उन्होंने ग्लास उन्होंने लगा दिया क्या कहते हैं कि बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है। तो उन्होंने इसको सब जाके रख दिया। अब अगर आप चार में से अगर चार जी पे लेते हो, तो आपको इस ग्लास में दारू ऑफ रहेगी। So guys, ये है मेन चौराहा। This is four way street. Right there is A building. Right here is C building. And right there is place to go to play basketball and other activities. Right there is place to go for haircut and everything else. Or like all the hospitality services. Now we'll go to A building and find more. So guys, this is observatory. There you can find, uh, you can chill, relax with your friends. Here you can drink beer and stuff when you don't have classes. There are many events happening here like drag queen events and other events. Um, this is really fun place. And right now it's closed, but when it's open, it's, it's actually beautiful. So guys, this is marketplace and food court, which is building, you can say D, where you can actually find places to eat and main cafeteria. Right there is a main cafeteria where right now there's an even and banquet, if you show the guys. And so guys, right there is building H for hospitality. If you're studying culinary management or any other hospitality course, that's the spot to go. And that's where your classes will be in front of connection store right here. Hey guys, so this is Building H, where you meet chefs like Bishop and they make awesome meals for guys like me. So guys, this is Building E, where you can find all the miscellaneous services such as Starbucks, food centers, spiritual center. You can make your ID badges here. You can also see box office and all the events happen here. So guys, this is the outside view of Algonquin Building E which looks really amazing. That's what you see in the images on Google. Right in front of us is the new building constructor, Building X, for gym and other activities. So what you're watching right now is Building X. 
it's really beautiful it has all the food centers lounges gym bowling other activities as well residence where you can find on campus uh, rooms where you can actually live and right there is the building for athletics and gym and right there is your building of e-commons and if you can just show the residence and how it is that's an entrance yeah so that's the entrance of residence and there are a lot of rooms i can show you the rooms from the back and that's the closest place to be because your college is right there you just have to cross the street and you can actually access the college you don't even need to take any bus or nothing you can actually just walk right to college so that's the main benefit so guys this right here is the Algonquin residence and that is the private residence where you can live and that's all the parking and stuff so that's the private residence which is also affordable and which you don't have to pay 12,000 for 4 months so guys this is college square the most famous place in Ottawa and Gedi route for Indians <laughs> I mean us like here they can find everything from Rogers to all the food outlets and Loblaws so guys this is the baseline station of Algonquin and I'll show you that in detail from here you can get all the buses for everywhere and that's the pathway where we came from and that's the building CA which I showed you so that's the baseline station hi guys hi guys so as I introduced you before Kaveri she is my sister she is my best friend. She is my great help here. She has been helping me since day one. So guys, I, as I promised you, we'll discuss about jobs and accommodation. Let's discuss about accommodation first. So I have some data here. Uh, so first we'll discuss about accommodation in college and then I'll compare it with accommodation outside. Uh, of course, college accommodation comes with a lot of benefits, easy access to college, gym and other facilities and a lot of other diversity stuff. And there are also other benefits such as cost and everything with the accommodation outside college. So let's discuss about accommodation in college like on campus residence accommodation. So I have numbers here. Uh, first of all before discussing the cost I'll just ask Kaveri the benefits. The benefits of living in college. The benefits of living in college is like you save on transportation. You don't have to actually uh, walk it like a wait for the bus and in the snow and this cold weather. Yeah, it's right in front of college and you can yes. just, you don't even need to go outside in cold. You can just walk in from, from the heated, ventilated ramps. So you don't even see the snow. You don't even, you actually can see the snow, but you won't even feel cold walking there. The main benefit which I think of living in college is inclusion. So there are people from different places around the world which live in the residence and there are a lot of events in the residence which you can enjoy like there are multicultural events like it can be Diwali celebration it can be Eid celebration it can be different different countries different different celebrations and they all are free and they can all you, you can enjoy it once you start living in residence but the greatest disadvantage is right here so I have I have a cost here for four months one term four months of course one semester in Algonquin is or in Canada is four months right so four month semester cost with the meal plan included like light meal plan like one or two meals per day is ten thousand dollars so that's around twenty five hundred dollars per month and regular meal is eleven thousand five hundred eighteen and premium meal is twelve thousand dollars and now we'll compare it with residence outside so as we are on cost so a residence outside you can find a room for $500 to $700 private room which is also near college sometimes if you're lucky but if you multiply 500 or 700 by 4 that's 2000 to 2800 
while you are paying $12,000 or like 10, 10 to $12,000 for Algonquin College residence just for living near college and all this inclusion you can actually still live near the college but outside with your own private space for just $2,500 so that's a difference of $8,000 but you lose all the other benefits like inclusion and all the events and everything but what do you suggest Kavai? if you are the student like if you are a student coming from India or any country from Africa, Middle East or Southeast Asia or South Asia what will you decide because not many people come from good backgrounds I myself was blessed that I came from a good background but many people are not of that financial condition that they can afford 12,000 just for accommodation yeah it's not pretty common to afford like $10,000 in 4 months for any of most of the international students because you are paying like set 3 times fees like international premium fees so your fees will be like $40,000 for your full course and then you are paying 12,000 per semester like $10,000 per semester so I don't think that's a smart decision what I think you should, you guys should do is go out for like go on marketplace or on Instagram pages, and you can just see a lot of people are posting ads there about their rooms available or about jobs available. So you can find a good accommodation near college, like 10-15 minutes, even 10-15 minute walk or by bus, and then you can actually still participate in events by just paying like 50 bucks or something, or like 20 bucks depending upon the event. And then you can save eight thousand dollars in one semester, and if you have six semesters, so that's forty-eight thousand dollars of savings. That's almost a whole course. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's our advice. So that was about accommodation, and now you guys have to decide if what you have to do if you're wise. Okay, guys. So now we'll talk about jobs, and that's the second thing we promised you. So there are two types of jobs available. First is on campus, and next is off campus. So Kaveri will discuss about on-campus jobs. So on-campus jobs are like available in restaurants, as you know, restaurants on the campus or even in library or other stuff. Tim Hortons or food court or maybe, yeah, like, like library. And what's the wage rate like in on-campus jobs? It's a minimum. It's 15 50 Yeah, so that's the biggest disadvantage. And what's the main advantage of working on, on campus? So it's like you don't have any limit to your hours, you can work as many hours you want. So the biggest advantage of working on campus jobs, even though if the wage is minimum wage, 15.50 an hour, is that there is no limit. Uh, so government of Canada actually lifted the limits for any student who got their visa approved before 15th October 2022 that you can work unlimited hours, even if it's on campus or off campus. But if your visa is coming, like all the students who are coming in 2023, you have restrictions again imposed on you that you can only work up to 20 hours if you're working off campus. So the biggest advantage of working on campus is that you have no hours limit. So now I'll discuss about the jobs which is off campus. The biggest advantage is money. So on campus you can only work on minimum wage but off campus you can actually earn, like you can actually get jobs which are starting at $17 an hour up to $22 an hour the government jobs, security jobs maybe restaurants if you are a good cook or chef the biggest advantage is money like you can get more money like if you even if you work less hours but if you are earning $5 an hour extra than $15.50 then that compensates everything and you get more study time and jobs such as security and everything else uh, you, all you need is a security guard license and you can watch this video above how to get a security guard license and in those jobs you can you don't even need to do anything you can just sit and relax and just uh, check calls and you can also do your homework sitting at the job so that's the biggest advantage and you can also if you check out the video you can also use my discount code which is some five and with that you can actually get license on a cheaper rate after that so I'll just ask Kaveri as a student, what do you suggest they should do, whether they should work on campus or off campus? I would prefer working off campus because it's uh, mostly like most likely I'm going to get higher wage over there. But if given a chance, I can do like my 20 hours outside and maybe some hours on, on campus. Yeah. It like depends on your schedule if you can afford that. So that's the biggest advantage. That's our advice to you guys, which you have to do when you actually arrive here.